I design new houses that have the patina of age but live the way people want to live today. And my older houses and historic houses get reimagined to live in a more open floor plan, indoor-outdoor living and so on. But there's always this, this sensibility of, of hearth and home and sense of place. And I call it non-ego-driven architecture. I oftentimes will help people understand the process a little bit better by scripting, as we call it, where we'll collectively write the novel of their house to be or the movie to be. My overriding uh, concern is what I call the greater good theory. When someone comes to me about doing a house, I try to explain to them that they have an obligation to understand the context in which this house is to be developed. They need to look to the streetscape if it's in a, if a more urban setting, uh, what's appropriate in scale, but also the spaces between the buildings become as important as the buildings themselves. When people think about uh, you know, Patrick Ahern Architects and they think about me and they think about our brand, oftentimes because we've done so many you know, significant homes that are of a certain scale, oftentimes people might come to me at a cocktail party and say, gee, you know, I didn't really want to call you, I, I didn't think our project was big enough for you. We did an 800 square foot house uh, not too long ago and you know, probably the average size house we do is somewhere between four and 6,000 square feet. I'm currently doing a couple houses that are in the 2,500 to 3,000 square foot range. So I think it's important for people to recognize that we, we do have all kinds of scale of houses. And we do different styles. We don't, we're not just doing historic looking houses. We have projects in uh, Bogota, Colombia, a small island uh, off of England, uh, Brisbane, Australia, Traverse City, Michigan, a um, uh, hundred acre parcel in Idaho. Portland, Oregon, um, South Carolina, I'm licensed in 18 states. I have national reciprocity. I was fortunate enough to be selected as the architect for the HGTV home uh, last year, uh, and that was very successful. There were 94 million entrants to win that house. 94 million. It was unheard of. So uh, not only did that house get the accolades, and recognition on a national level on HGTV, but the Institute of Classical Architecture just this year voted that as the best classical house under 5,000 square feet. So it was recognized by my peers as something important, but also the general public.